Good afternoon, everybody. It's Friday, February 22nd. Um, we do have a little bit of activity here in the shop, and I also want to go over some issues that have surfaced for Windows 10 users and Windows updates. So we're going to get started. This particular laptop that's directly in front of me came in with a complaint of Windows 10 failing to install update 1709 which is actually a fairly common issue. I actually believe it just did successfully install 1709 so we're going to check things out and we're going to get things current with this laptop and we're going to see how it performs and what happens. I will be getting back to this in a minute. But before I do, I want to talk about a serious Windows update issue that is going to affect every single person that has Windows 10. There is an update that has been circulating. As I've mentioned before, every third Tuesday of the month is what we call Patch Tuesday. And on Patch Tuesday, Microsoft releases a whole slew of Windows updates that are designed to correct security vulnerabilities and issues that have been discovered since the previous month's Patch Tuesday. One of the updates that was released on Patch Tuesday causes serious problems with USB devices. In particular, this, will, this can cause your mouse and keyboard to cease functioning if the update fails to install. If this happens, you have to bring your computer into the shop because the fix for this issue is not simple. What complicates the fix is the fact that both your mouse and, and your keyboard are dead. So basically, once the machine boots into Windows, you have no control over it. This problem can also impact other USB devices as well. I had an instance where an individual's mouse and keyboard worked fine. They may not have been USB based. I'm not sure about that. The mouse and keyboard worked fine. However, a USB camera that he requires for his business failed to function. And it had to be fixed via remote access via the camera equipment's <coughs> excuse me by the camera equipment's tech support. And it's probably going to happen again when the update reinstalls on his computer. So I have him keeping an eye out for the issue. My attorney was also hit by this issue on one of the machines yesterday afternoon at approximately 1.30. It picked up this update. It rebooted. Um, the update failed to install, and as a result, dead keyboard and dead mouse right in the middle of tax season on a workstation. Wonderful. So last night, all night was spent figuring out what was actually causing the keyboard and mouse to die, and then I eventually discovered the problem, and along with the problem, there were some complicated instructions for removing the update and I followed those and I was successful. I want to let everyone know about this. I expect that problems with this particular Windows update are going to be rampant. As I said, if you <coughs> have issues with this particular update, the easiest thing to do is to bring the machine into the shop 
and I will correct it for you in, in an expedient fashion. The actual fix itself is too complicated to cover here in a video. I will see everyone soon. Talk to you later. And as always, don't feel free to rate, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see everyone either over the weekend or next week. See everyone soon. Bye-bye.